How's it going, Twitch? My name is Skull, and on behalf of East Asia Soft, welcome to today's stream. Today is Sunday, which means that it is time for me to continue my playthrough of Love Esquire, and I am so proud and excited to say it is out now physically on Nintendo Switch. This game has proven to be so popular, it actually got another print run. You can go to PlayAsia.com right now and buy a copy for yourself, which I highly recommend. And uh, before I start, let me just say, I'm sorry I wasn't here the last two weeks. <laughs> I was busy, uh, you know, I was uh, busy trying to see Artemis 1 launch in Florida, and it didn't, which means at some point later this year, maybe as soon as later this month, I'm going to be skipping out on Sundays again to see it. So, yeah. Uh, but I do remember that we were really close to closing in on Kamala's ending, which I'm super excited about. Also, let me say, uh, I ended up getting this game on mobile, on... Play, it's on uh, it's on the Google Play Store and iOS. Uh, what, what's that? The App Store. And uh, it's different on mobile. Uh, I wouldn't say that it's worse, but I definitely prefer the uh, console version. Just throwing that out there. This is such a good game, and it's great on console. And yeah, I I just highly recommend that you guys play it on console if you can. Okay, let's see where we're at. The third month, second day. Basically, from here on out, we can get uh, Kamala stuff, and I hope that we do. We have to prioritize Kamala. We absolutely have to. If we accidentally work on Giselle in the meantime, it's possible that we won't have any time. See, like right here. Like, I really want to go to Giselle, but I can't. Because if we, if we give Giselle any kind of attention... There's a possibility that when we wrap up her route, it's going to be, uh... That there won't be enough time left for us to actually get the good ending, so... Uh, so, this is what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to hit ZL. Fast forward by an hour, which I just found out you could do fairly recently. And I'm just going to keep doing that until we get a Kamala trigger of some kind. One hour at a time. As you can see, Giselle really wants our attention. And I will give her attention. It just won't be for a while, unfortunately. I really have to focus on Kamala. Once I am finished with Kamala, and I pray to God I get the good ending for her. Okay, now we don't have to worry about that. Okay, then I will go to Giselle and focus on getting the good ending for her. And I'll consider continuing the game until I get the harem ending. Here we go. Here's the Kamala trigger. What do you mean it's not there? This is unacceptable! An affront! The princess will know about this! <sighs> Man, that it again. A break sure sounds like a good idea. Right. About now. Isn't that Kamala? Where's she going? Huh. Oh, oh boy. Lord Smugface is gonna have a field day if he finds out about these traps. Is she waiting for someone? Princess. Shira! What did my robber say? See for yourself. Lady Shira pulls out a piece of paper and passes it to her. Tonight? But, but... Tonight? Tonight what? What's happening? It's asking for a little more time too much. A little more and we would've... We're so close, Shira. You have held to it for far too long. It is time you stopped stalling. You know what is at stake. My child, I taught you how to fight, but a warrior must also know when to retreat from useless endeavors. And any good Raba only wants the best for their kingdom, princess. Remember, in this war, Alkos, 
Alcos cannot fall. I'll remember. Uh, I can't take this anymore. Don't do it, Kamala. No matter what they're telling you, don't do it. Why are you... You were listening. I... I... Uh, I didn't mean to. I was just... Please, do yourself a favor and stay out of this. You've meddled enough. What? No! You clearly don't want to do this! Stop this! It is useless! Everything is useless! You... You do not know what I want! You do not... You're right! I don't. I'm not a noble like you. I'm just a squire. I don't know anything about ruling or politics or any of that big stuff you guys are always talking about. I'm dumb, and all I know is how to milk my cow! I'm just a nobody, okay? But even if I'm not the smartest bloke around, I know the kind of person you are, Kamala. I know because I've seen it with my own eyes. The Kamala I've come to know wouldn't hesitate to stop a noble from being swindled. She'd even take a thief's crime as her own. Especially if she thinks the punishment is unfair. Hell, she defended me from Lord Smugface. Even if it was my fault in the first place. You told me no one becomes a Ragni or some big shot noble by being a gentle soul. But you know what? Even if I don't like snooty nobles and politicians, and they're probably just going to be sitting in their homes while we go to war, I actually don't mind fighting for someone who actually gives a damn about us. Someone... Someone like you. So don't you ever think that what you did here was ever useless. The things you did, they might seem small. But they're big things for small folks like us. Aw, that's actually pretty sweet. That matters too, right? Why? Why must you be like this? <sighs> Enough with this nonsense. We have already wasted so much time with this farce. Ignore the boy. Your robber has requested our swift return to Alcos. We must prepare. No! No! Indeed, no! We are not leaving! I am not leaving, Shira! Not until the treaty has been signed! Not until the alliance has been forged! Your robber! My robber can wait, and he will! He will only see me again once I have brought with me the allies I promised him! Foolish girl! You have seen how these people act! The simple idea of an alliance has sent them in a frenzy! An anti alcozy frenzy! What makes you think that the opinion of the select few supporters would change that? Do not mistake that trust for something that the whole of Cerulea is willing to give! We are at war! Alcos needs every edge it could get! What if Cerulea does not hold their end of the bargain? What if Cerulea does not agree to help? People do not change their minds overnight, Princess. I have told you this countless times. It is naive and foolish to believe otherwise, unless you are prepared and willing to claw your way through. Very well. I beg your pardon? <laughs> Please, Shira. You are not so old and fragile to not have heard what I said. I am aware, Ragni, that it will take time, that it would not be easy, that Cerulea and Alco still have a long way to go, that I would have to claw my way through, and if that is what it would take... My sword! Then so be it. Oh. You dare point your sword on the person who taught you how to wield it? Yes, Shira, I dare. And I shall claw my way through. Just like you did. Oh. I will make this alliance happen, even if I have to go through you. Wait, Princess, isn't that a little... What did say Rulia is going on here? Oh, no. Princess Beatrice. Is there anything I should know? Kamala? Lady Shira? There is nothing to worry about, Your Highness. We were just... Yes, there is something you must know, Shadia. Kamala! Please, Shira. Just one more time. And should this fail tonight, then you are free to do as you please. I shall be willing to accept whatever order or punishment you shall give. <sighs> Very well. 
Let us see what you can do. Well, what is it that I must know? Shadia, may we go somewhere private? The throne room should give us enough privacy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course. You can do it, Kamala. No matter what happens, I'm here. I promise. Thank you. Now, let's just hope Princess Beatrice won't be pissed. Ah, <sighs> that girl. Uh, you okay there, Lady Shira? To think that I saw myself in her. She is worse. And you, young man, you better be responsible for what will come out of this. Wait, what? What did I do? I do not know. You tell me. It is because of you that Kamala is like this. Uh huh. Uh huh. She rushed from Nasha. But I was just. Huh? <laughs> Skull, Squire Skull, this is all your fault. Oh, they're done. Kamala, this is. I know. There will be consequences. Wait, what? Didn't she just tell you everything? Her kingdom. Restrain your tongue, Squire. I will not hide from what I have done. Beatrice. To be honest, I still don't know what to say. Lord Dreg will not like this. He will be a problem. Ah, smug face. I understand. You do not have to. Do what you think is right. And that's what I intend to do. The books are still with you, correct? Indeed. I... I have only been feeding them half-truths. At with that, Princess Beatrice nods. Squire, leave us and fetch Lady Shira. There are matters we need to discuss with her. Huh? Huh? Just like that? What? No, I'm not leaving here until. Please. You have already done so much. I shall handle it from here. You heard her. You sure? Yes. Really? I am, Squire. Whatever will come of this, please know that I will always be grateful for what you've done. Are you really, really absolutely sure? How many times must you ask that question? As many times as I want! Who knows what you'll do once I'm gone, huh? Leave! We need to talk! Okay. Leaving. Now! Right! Right! Yes, Your Highness! <laughs> And that is how Squire Skull died. Well, I hope this all works out. Okay, we're for sure locked into the Kamala route, I think. So I think when we wake up tomorrow morning, we will see... If we get the good ending? I sure hope so. And that'll be the final girl to get an ending at all. And then we can work on getting Giselle's good ending. Then we can work on the harem ending. Well, huh? No. <laughs> you naughty little squire. How could you say that? Good night, everybody. Where else are we supposed to do this? Not here, obviously. <laughs> Ah! No! That hurts. Uh. Princess? I thought you had stopped calling me that. Is this really going on? Please, and just drop the title, Squire. Wait, Kamala? Wait, are you drunk? How did she? <laughs> I told you already, I am not as innocent as you think. <laughs> <laughs> She's the least innocent of all these girls, are you kidding me? There is nothing to fear. Let me prove it. Let me... I shall... I shall prove it. <laughs> prove it to you. <laughs> she begins trailing her fingertips down my stomach. Slowly, slowly. Squire! Uh. Oh. Don't stop 
princess? No can do, kiddo. We have to be at the plaza, pronto. Huh? Ah! Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> it You're was up. a dream. Thanks a lot, you. You? Damn it! Of course he'd be the one to ruin a good dream. And I'm all wet. The stupid. That's Sir Hugh to you. Whatever. What do you want? Not me. The princess. Or the princesses. Whatever. We're needed at the plaza, so. Up you go. Ah! Stop it! I can walk. I'm up. I'm up. Great. I'll meet you downstairs. Be ready in five or. I get it. I'll get it. I'll be there. Get out of my room. Five minutes, Squire. Go away, Hugh! Jeez! Annoying! The plaza, huh? I wonder what it is this time. I hope Kamala's okay. Whoa! Jumping ladies of the lake! I think every person in Zerulia's here! Even Vel's here! Here's Kamala! She waves at me, and I give her one back. She looks really happy. I hope that's something good. I just hope this isn't her farewell party. I wonder how her talk with Princess Beatrice went. And speak of the devil. Princess, what is this? What is going on, your highness? Everyone, settle down. Everything will be explained in a moment. Kamala, shall we? Of course, Shadia. The traitor? What is the meaning of this, your highness? Be patient, my lord. Your questions will be answered in a moment. Lords and ladies of Cerulea, I welcome you. As we are all aware, a few months ago, Princess Kamala Copperheart of Alcos visited our kingdom, offering an alliance. Ha! <laughs> you still believe that bullshit? She's a spy, I tell you. A spy. Can somebody please punch him? Lord Dreg, may I? Thank you, my lord. The negotiations have been complex, but after a long and difficult process, we have determined that a treaty would be more beneficial to both our kingdoms in the coming war. What? We are pleased to announce that from this day forth, the kingdoms of Cerulea and Alcos are now allied against the common threat of the Gegner Horde. Yay! Impossible! That guy. Wait, 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 your highness! What about the missing documents? The, the annals, the records, everything this woman stole! That's right. What did they do with that? Stole? I think you are mistaken, my lord. In fact, you should be thanking her highness for her service to our kingdom. C come again? <laughs> did I stutter? My, my that allow me to enlighten you. The missing records have been returned to the rightful place, my lord. The thief has also been caught and punished. What, was it Shira? And all of it would not have been possible without Princess Kamala's help. Oh, so that's how they chose to go about it. Sweet. I, I don't believe it. Don't you dare think I don't know what's up, traitor. My men have a lot to answer for. Don't think for a second that I've forgotten about your merchants, Lord Drake. I... And Drowser Trade. Let's also add your alleged associations with those bandits. Ha! Finally! It's not what you think, my lady. Then what about this smuggling ring I've heard of? And my, my, you even have connections to the Cerulean black market. Quite the scandal, don't you think? Y Your Highness, we can win this war without these godless heathens, but please reconsider. Don't you see how this witch has poisoned you all? Clearly, her plots run deep. Lord Drag, that is enough. You are only embarrassing yourself. No, no! Without warning, he draws his sword and points it at Kamala. Not until this foreigner leaves my kingdom! That's racist. I think we've heard enough from you, my lord. Put that down. 
or you will lose more than your lands and titles. She cannot be trusted! Guards, arrest this man! W wait you, you can't do this! Ha! <laughs> Good riddance. Now that that has been dealt with, to commemorate this momentous occasion in both Cerulea and Alcos's histories, a banquet. Tonight, we celebrate! Yeah! <laughs> oh, glad that worked out well. All's well that ends well, huh? All that's left is the war. I wonder if I'll still have the chance to talk to her after this. Not in the palace or the training grounds, huh? Wonder if she's here. Come on. Where is that stupid thing? Stop using your mouth and use your eyes, child. Perhaps you simply left it tucked inside one of the books. Uh, Kamala? What are you doing? A squire, is that you? Uh, could you help me find my quill? It fell somewhere here. Oh, uh, sure thing. I shouldn't take advantage of this, but... Heh. <laughs> That's a nice view of her. Uh, did you find it yet? N not yet. Have you tried looking at the cracks on the floor? Yep. I'm kind of checking one out right now. <laughs> Good night, everybody. My, my, my. Careful, young man. I know men in Alcos who have lost their fiddle over such impure thoughts. Ah, oh, crap. I, I wasn't thinking of anything. <laughs> of course. Actually, I believe him. Squire School has a tendency to not think at all. Oh, here is the reclusive one. Glad you found it. She quickly places it among a mess of papers and books on the table. Then she picks up another book and just reads. Shouldn't you guys be out there celebrating? Oh, believe me, Squire, I would love to. The sounds of the party, the smell of the food, they all tempt me so. But there is much to be done, and I... I simply cannot. Bah! An understatement if I ever heard one. Look at all this work you are making me do. Have you no mercy for a frail old woman? And however am I supposed to explain the terms of this alliance to your robber, young lady? She rush found Nasha. <laughs> Please, Shira. One cannot be old and frail when she can still come up with schemes to get rid of one annoying noble. Getting rid of that postulant pig is easy. He did that to himself. Agreed. This, this is work. <laughs> Nobody likes work. A lot of work. Nobody likes a lot of work. Uh, so even with the treaty signed, there's still work for you? Indeed. In fact, there is more work with it in place. Especially after what I did. Or almost did. It did not come for free, Squire. Damn. This whole diplomacy thing sounds more complicated than I thought. It is. But sharing our kingdom's shipbuilding techniques, or giving your kingdom a portion of our copper for a few years? All small prices to pay compared to what would happen if the Gegner Horde wins. Can you imagine? I guess that's true. She's incredibly wise. And yet, you still sound disappointed. Why? <laughs> because I don't know if I got the good ending or not. Well, I was hoping I could take you out dancing, since we've never had the chance. It's a squire. <laughs> it's fine. I understand. I could also hang around here. I'm also cool with that. What are you up to anyway? What's with the maps? Oh, I am just plotting a course back to home. Home? Uh, already? I... yes. My robber has appointed me as Alcos's official consul to Cerulea. I must return as soon as possible to help coordinate our fleet's movements with your army. I guess the war is closer than we think. It is. When do you leave then? Tomorrow evening. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> smile, Skull. Smile. Don't let a frown be the last thing she sees from you. I guess there really isn't much time, huh? Squire. Well, I won't bother you anymore. 
Sounds like you're in a rush to... All of a sudden, she shuts, closed the book she has been reading. You are right. Huh? I... You are right. We do not have much time. We must enjoy the days before the war. Did I get the good ending? <laughs> That's four for five that I accidentally ate upon. I'm happy. Shira, will you be fine on your own for a few? <laughs> for the rest of the night, even. Who do you think has been keeping Alcos intact all these years? Certainly not your father, or that spoiled brother of yours. Do not underestimate this Ragni, young lady. I am not our kingdom's middle finger for nothing. Uh... <laughs> Shira, please. Whatever that means. Just go. <laughs> I shall see you later, Shira. So, shall we? <laughs> Wait, you mean... Will you accompany me, squire? <laughs> With all the pleasure in the world, your highness! <laughs> I am pleased to hear it. Then, as thanks, since you mentioned dancing, I shall perform for you the Alcozi interpretive dance of gratitude. All 35 forms with three varying routines. Good lord. 35 forms? <laughs> I merely jest, Squire. There exists no such thing. But come, before the night ends, I want to experience everything. And he ended up landing on me, with his armor on. Can you believe it? What kind of knight climbs up a tree with his armor on? <laughs> <laughs> I am sure Knight Hugh still has some good points. Maybe, but I wish he'd act like he did have them. <laughs> of course, and I am sure you will become a great knight one day with that optimism. Hell yeah, I'll survive this war end. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. <clears throat> Good going, Skull. Way to ruin the mood. It is fine. I also think that it is about time we head back. It is getting late. I still have to meet with Shadia tomorrow morning. Oh, right, sure. Time sure did fly fast tonight, didn't it? I'll walk you to the castle, if you don't mind. She suddenly stops walking and... <laughs> wow! Kamala. Thank you. <laughs> Do you have that in 35 forms and three variations as well? <laughs> Do not be so greedy, Squire. Well, you know me. This is just who I am, Kamala. Badass Squire and... Yeah. You have done plenty of things for me, Squire. Like putting up with your unholy fascination with shoes? <laughs> Among other things. Or is this for teaching you those swimming maneuvers? My, how could I forget? I think Princess Beatrice is rubbing off on you. Indeed. I think she has. But let us not forget the most important one. There's more? Yes. You have given me trust when I did not deserve it. Aww. Oh. <laughs> There's that too. <laughs> There's no need to be ashamed of your deeds. It is a gift worth more than any shoes I could buy. And I shall treasure it. <sighs> I am going to miss all of this. Don't worry. I'm sure you can always visit Cerulea. You're a consul now. Should be easy, right? It should be. But I was not talking about that. I meant this, Squire. Your heart and my Mahanan. Us. Us. Mahanan. Uh, oh. And this war, I, I do not look forward to it. When I think about the numerous ways I could lose you, an axe to the face, a sword to the heart, a spiky ball to the stomach. Kamala. A spear through the throat, an arrow to the knee. Ah, uh, I was once a mighty adventurer. Bala! Apologies, Mahanan. 
My imagination somehow becomes active when it concerns you now. Violently active for some reason. <laughs> Though, to be honest, I don't even want to be in this war either. I'm too young to die. Sorry about that. Uh, then... But, <laughs> after meeting you, I know it's going to be worth it. Yeah, it's a risk. But if it means I get to protect you and say Rulia, then I don't see anything wrong in taking it. So, please don't tell me not to go to war. I have a very good reason to fight now. <laughs> Even if I do this? J -j Jumping Lady of the Lake? It's a real kiss! A real kiss this time! What? That's cheating! I know. This war is your duty to your kingdom. Just like how my mission is my duty to Arcos. Yeah. I think that's something we can both agree on. In the end, she just nods at me, so I pull her into a hug. It's the only thing I can think of doing right now with so many things going inside my head. Damn, the stupid war! I'll come out of this alive. We'll see. That is my hope, Mahanan. Since there is nothing I can do to change your mind. But will you grant me one selfish wish? Just one? Only one. Tonight, I simply want more of your time. Could you, uh... Could you at least give me that? <laughs> is this... You mean... It is! <laughs> I shall take that smile as a yes. Shall we take this somewhere private, Mahanan? Without waiting for my answer, she tugs up my hand and leads me to the palace. I can't believe it! This is it! Finally! Man's greatest pleasure! And we got the good, oh boy, got the good ending. Four out of five. I'll be back for you. You hear me? And I will be waiting, Mahanan. Man's greatest pleasure, huh? That was good. Real good. I guess I'll have to make good on that promise. Here's hoping four months of training will be enough. Achievement unlocked between two worlds. Weeks after Kamala left, we saw several Alcozi warships docking in Cerulea's ports, ready to ferry our troops off to war. It was pretty awesome, until I remembered that I'm one of those troops, and I'd be heading off to certain death. I'd tell you about how Hugh and I spent our remaining time preparing for the big day, but come on, no one really wants to hear about that. I don't, so I'll just jump to the most important part. Spoiler alert, we won! Woohoo! All in all, the defensive war of Alcos took six months. I stabbed some people, Sir Grand was awesome as always, and Hugh... Uh, Sir Hugh was actually pretty good. Don't tell him I said that, okay? He never let me hear the end of it. Mind you, lots of our soldiers still died. But without Alko's help, we'd probably be under Gegner rule by now. Or worse. But the best thing to come from this? It shut up Lord Drag. Finally! Of course that didn't mean he wouldn't try and find new reasons to complain. He still did, every few weeks or so. But he made sure to keep his comments to himself. Oh, good God, man. Especially now that Kamala's been permanently anointed as Alcoz's official ambassador to say Rulia. Heh, she's doing good work, I tell you. I don't really understand half of it, but she's working hard to make things better for everyone. Within a year, she's already accomplished a lot. Trade deals, patching up that mess in Bordemer, more treaties, that sort of stuff. I've always thought that politics was boring, but it was so cool to see her do all those things. In fact, she's doing such a good job that some people have started saying she might become queen someday. 
Can you believe that? Don't tell anyone, okay? But I think even Haraba finally recognized her. Kamala said he's been giving her more work. Ragni-style work. Nothing like she couldn't handle yet. Nothing she couldn't handle yet, of course. But it's something. Besides, she has the best teacher one could have for the job. Lady Shira. I know she said it wasn't what she wanted for herself. And she seems happy just being able to do something for her kingdom. But if becoming Ragni or Queen is one way, well, I'm happy for her. And I'll be with her every step of the way. As for me... Nice bones. <laughs> nice boat. <laughs> I guess you could say I'm moving up in the world. I'm <clears throat> busier than ever. You see, being a squire, Princess Kamala's unofficial bodyguard and lover kind of does that. Although the last one did piss people off, especially after the whole <clears throat> queenship thing. Anyway, it ain't happening for quite some time. What matters is what we have now. I'm happy, she's happy, and we've both learned from our mistakes. Now, what happens if I somehow become king? Well, that's a story for another time. That's four good endings on the first try. And let's just skip this. And okay. Let's work on Giselle, get her good ending now. And then our work isn't over. We'll still have We'll still have to redo <sighs> Beatrice and Amy. And I have to remember my inventory work on Giselle while I'm thinking about it. Oh, I can just go straight to her right now, actually. Wow, I don't have to worry about skipping forward in the timeline. Four for five! Not bad! I wonder what Giselle's up to. You've been staring at that for quite a while now. What are you reading? Announcement. What does it say? The war. They need field medics. I see. Are you planning to volunteer? Not sure. Volunteering for the war is a noble cause, Giselle. You'll be saving so many lives, but that could be really dangerous. I... I don't want you to get hurt. Are you sure you want this? I really don't know how to turn off that sound. I'm sorry, everyone. I don't know. Wow. A volunteer, huh? That's brave of her. But why would she want to join the war? Let's have a look-see. <clears throat> Whoa! Not what I meant by a closer look, but I'll take it. Anyway, I should back it up a bit. Don't want him getting the wrong idea. Now they won't notice me if I... Back away slowly. Crap. Hello? Who's there? Uh-oh. Oh! Hey there, Giselle. <laughs> nice weather today, huh? Eavesdropper. It, it's not what you think. I was just, uh... How the heck did I get myself out of this? Okay, let me check this, check this, check this. Love Esquire endings. I, as far as I remember, this might actually be a I get to choose whatever I want. Yeah, I can pick whatever I want. Um, Look, uh, I've got a... I got a pretty bad cough. See? <coughs> cough. It's <laughs> saying the word cough. <coughs> cough. Cough. Oh, it's the Squire. How can we help you today? We won't, eavesdropper. Hey, you've got it all wrong. I'm here for meds. I swear. 
Ah, a purchase. What does he need, Giselle? Something for his... cloth. I see. Well, you heard him, Giselle. Why don't you give him our special medicine? Oh, this should be fun. Oh, okay. Oh, this should be really fun. Here, your medicine. <laughs> oh, thanks, Giselle. I... Oh, good lord, that is disgusting. <laughs> Chicken. Hey, what gives? I love her. I love when she sticks her little tongue out like that. It's so adorable. That was our special medicine for eavesdroppers. How are you feeling? I get it. I get it. You guys happy now? Yes. <laughs> Giselle, I need help. It still hurts. That would be Sir Donis. Please, just give me a little more. I I swear. It's him. Then you better go, dear. I'll be at my station if you need my help. On it. Him? You mean Donis? Yes. Mind if I tag along? I could help. Okay. Hey, Giselle. Glad to see you. My leg's oh. aching again, you see. A little... Just a little more of that should do the trick. No, your legs, they're okay. But it hurts, it feels like, like they're hurting me again. They? Who's he talking about? Don't let them hurt me again, Giselle, please. Here. Finally, thank you. Thank you. You're a good person, Giselle. This this will help me forget. Donis. You gave him the test cure, right? Yes. Well, looks like it's calming him down a bit. Hey, you. M me? Yes. Who are you? Oh, I, uh, I'm Giselle's friend. A friend, huh? Y yeah, I think. <laughs> Maybe. That's good, Giselle. That's good. You were always so quiet. But you have to be careful. They might take him away, just like everyone else. Aww. They might hurt him, too. They'll, they'll make him do things and hurt him. This poor guy. Giselle, it's, it's hurting again. I need more. Donis, please, calm down. I can't. I... Trouser, more, please. I'm sorry. You need to go. He needs me. Are you sure? I can still help you out. Thanks. I'll be fine. Okay, then. I'll see you around. Giselle and Donis. I wonder what that's all about. <clears throat> okay. Okay, we're doing good with Giselle. We can now gift her the ocarina. Oh. Because we're planning How's to have hanging, the uh, good ending this time, so. Not much. Really? Well, I guess it's the perfect time. An ocarina? Yeah, it's a legendary ocarina. Is it magical? It is. You and I found it in the forest. <clears throat> Pretty sweet, huh? Magic. I want to see. Well, we can test it out. Want to hear me play it? Yes. He can't play. Okay. It's just the tile screen music. <laughs> and I think she likes it. So, you feel anything different? The music. Magical! I was that good. <laughs> Maybe I'm some kind of musical genius or something. Or just lucky. At Ocarina, what are you going to do? Well, legends say I need to give this to someone special, so... Here, I want you to have it. M me Yeah, you're the first person I thought of. But, really? Of course. Thank you. I'll keep this safe. Glad you like it, Giselle. <clears throat> oh man, our friendship increased by 2,000 points. Okay, oh. now we could talk to her oh. about... Well, we could talk to her about just about anything. Anything to increase our friendship. Hey, Giselle. Yeah. Yeah. I know. She, 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 
Okay, I need to get my inventory all sorted right now. How do I do that? Um, I guess I can first check that. Nothing there, good. Okay, I guess I need to go to the plaza, talk to Serena. <laughs> See if I currently have anything. Greetings. Have a look at my wares. Yeah, I can sell the soap. Silverware and the tulip. Okay, so I need to swip swap between the grimoire and the uh I'll take good care of your gold. What was the other one? Tarot cards. By all <clears throat> Okay. Uh that's all I can do for today. Going to come tomorrow and see if that triggers something new with Giselle. Okay, relationships. So I recall I was actually stuck on this with Giselle for quite some time. So, um... Okay, I'm going to be working on increasing Giselle's affection. I'm going to keep gifting her gifts. I already gave her the ocarina, so... What is today looking like? Okay. Theoretically, I cannot have anything going on tomorrow with Giselle, but I might have something today. I'm going to go into town and see if there's any kind of trigger for her throughout the morning. Oh, or right now. <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Excuse me. Hey there, kiddo. Perfect timing. You? What's up? Before you start training, I need you to run an important errand for me. Here's a letter for the infirmary. It's got a list of medical supplies the troops will be needing for the war. I need you to deliver this for me. Got it. Thanks. Believe it or not, I've been busy. Hey, no sweat. I've got you covered. Medical supplies. Medical supplies. Maybe I should look for Giselle. <clears throat> hey, Giselle. How's it hanging? Not good. Aw. Something wrong? Him. She points to Donis. He looks way worse from before. Ah, please, more! Hey, you know what you can, right? Therapy, test cure, not enough. Giselle. All that work, but it still isn't enough? It's clear, clearly bothering her. Is there anything I could do? And right here, I'm almost positive this is where I made my first mistake during my first playthrough. Where I said, hey, you've done a lot. Yep, the correct answer is, want to go for a drink. As someone who does not drink, I would never have picked this myself, so here we are now. You know what? Maybe you need a break. <coughs> Excuse me. Want to get a drink at the tavern later? That always does the trick for me. Thank you. But no. Allergies. Allergic to wheat, maybe? Right. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Before I forget, I've got this very important mission. Here. It's a list of medical supplies for the war. I see. Thanks. Squire. What is it? Help. Please. Medicines. Sorting. T too many. Hey, I'd be happy to help you with that. Thank you. Aw. Whoa! You really know your stuff! Training. I guess it's no secret the doc taught you, huh? Yes, and... and Donis, too. He, he did? Seriously? So that's why you two seem kinda... close. Is he family? Like, a brother or something? No. Are you from the same village, then? Uh, amazingly, she and the squire are. No. My... my home. East of the Eston Woods. He's from the White Peaks. The Eston Woods? So you lived in that part of the kingdom too, huh? Yes. Well, that's interesting. I'm from those parts as well. I... I see. Anyway, the White Peaks are pretty far. How'd you even get to meet him? I... I don't want to talk about it. Uh, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to. 
hell's going on? Give me my trouser, now! No. Giselle, wait! Oh, that's not good. I need it! I need it to go away! It hurts! Donis, no! Giselle, stay back! Ah, I know it's here! Giselle, stop hiding my trouser! Hey, calm down! Or else... Who are you? Are you here to hurt me again? Stay back! I don't want to do it again! Giselle, he's angry! Stand behind me! D don't hurt him! I don't think I have a choice. Giselle! Squire! Doc, he's gone mad! Right. Squire, restrain him! On it! Here goes! Ah, I'm close to it! I can smell it! I'll find it! I'll find it! Yeah, there. An opening! Oh no, you don't! No! I need it! No! No, you can't stop me! You won't hurt me again! Doc! I got him! This poor fella. Donis! I'm sorry. She takes out a needle and sticks it in his arm. No! That's not Browser! I, that's not what I want! No! I, ah! Doc, did it work? He's still fighting! The medicine takes time. We need to calm him down. Giselle, we need your help! I... I'll try. No, don't hurt me! I won't do it again! You can't make me! Donis, please. Giselle, I helped you. You owe me, so give it now! Donis, do you remember? King's Leaf, Cerulea, Slimeberries, Greenhorn Glade, Spring Feathers, Hilarious, Saint Fern. Saint Fern, Mortimer. I remember them all. You taught me the names I remember. Giselle, I... <sighs> Finally, it's taking effect. So painful. I forget that I want to. That's it. Take it easy. <clears throat> that was intense. A lot better now, though. Thank you for the assist, Squire. That'll put him to sleep for a good while. No problem. But... Giselle, it pains me to say this, but the therapy... <coughs> our cure isn't working. No. Please, give him time. I, I'm trying so hard. I know you are. I'm sorry, Giselle. He's starting to become a threat to other patients. Maybe... Maybe the infirmary isn't the best place for him. No, please! Doc, please give her a chance. She's done so much. You saw what happened here. Isn't this just one of his bad days? He's been having more of those recently. This is too risky. Come on, Doc. I'll help out if you need me to. I, I, I could be the muscle if things get out of hand. I could deal with it. I could even help out with Giselle's research. In fact, I'll become both your assistants. For free. Squire. Look, I... I'll do anything. Just please. This is important to her. Aww. <sighs> Fine. You... You will? Yes, I will. Thank you. Thank you. You better put him back in bed, Giselle. Okay. Check one of the back rooms. I'll have him isolated for the time being. Doc, thank you for this. I know this is going to be a lot of work, but that guy, Donis, is he going to be okay? I'm not sure. Giselle may be hard at work for a test cure, but getting over Drowser addiction is... it's a different fight in itself. I... I see. But Giselle thinks he can win that fight. Giselle's a brilliant healer. I'm sure of it. I'd be the last person to try and discourage her from facing the impossible, but I'm just worried. She's been too hard on herself for a while now. Please keep an eye on her for me. She's... she's very precious to me. I'll do my best, Doc. Thank you. I appreciate all you've done for us today. No problem. I told you, I'm here to help. 
Now, it looks like I've got to go back to work. I might need to check on Giselle as well. Right. I'll see you around, Doc. <laughs> and friendship increased by 400 points. Let's check there just to see. Nothing. Oh, hello. Give her the grimoire. You didn't have to. Thanks. Another 100 points. Wow. Good. Greetings. Now we can talk to her about childhood. <clears throat> hey, Giselle. I hope you don't mind me asking, but what was your... Ch just at this point, I'm just sort of speed running her route. Just trying to get to the ending as fast as I can. It can't be too fast. I do still have to emphasize gifts as much as possible because my friendship with her needs to be at 5,500 in order to get the good ending. The Ocarina gave me 2,000 by itself <clears throat> and each story progression gives me 400. But I think even so, I still need to give her gifts as often as possible to make up the difference. <clears throat> and I think that's how it'll go. Like, we're halfway through her story right now, as it is. What a nice morning. Birds chirping, cows grazing. Speaking of cows, I wonder how Bessie's doing. What in the world did I trigger here? Come here, Bessie. Why? This is where we used to play, remember? Back when you were a cute little baby cow. Mwah. Mwah, who's a good girl? You like your chin rubs, don't you? Mwah. Hi, bro. Yes, but you're a big girl, aren't you? Who's my big girl? Wait, how did we get this? I don't remember this, Sam. Uh, bro? Oh, what's this? You've grown some nice big tits, did ya? Oh, good lord. No! Uh, okay. Good girl. I can't wait to drink the milk from those big juicy. Good night, everybody. Ahem, bro. <laughs> huh? I hate to break your alone time with Bessie, but the nurse is here to see you. This is new. <clears throat> did you guys hear all that? Um, I'm going back to work now, so... Bye, bro. Good luck explaining yourself. Amy, wait! Hey, Giselle. Come on, say something. No judgment. <laughs> oh, okay then. <laughs> That's the nicest possible thing she could have said. So, what can I do for you today? New herbs. I need it for, for the cure. A better one. Donis, huh? I understand. But when are we doing this exactly? Now. Now? Like, now, now? Yes, hurry. No, oh, uh, on it. Okay. I <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, never mind. A patch of grass looks decent enough. She'll never know the. Oh, that's new. <laughs> Snake, take this! And stay down! Crap. That stings. I, I, I don't feel so good. Hey, Giselle. Snake bite. Help. Squire, you okay? No. no not so good. Okay, I think I remember what happens at this scene, at least. Venom? Now. Well, I close. Slimeberry. Regions. Giselle. I'm sorry. I don't want it. No. Stay put. I'll be back. I, it, it can't end like this. I can't die a virgin. Squire. Pain. Oh, so much. Hold on, please. Giselle. She's so tense. I can't make her worry like this. You're okay. Chew this. Ugh. It's bitter as hell. But I have to bear it. Now drink. Uh, okay. Giselle, 
I, I, I can't. No, Squire! Squire! Well, that's it. School's dead. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Squire! Okay, we're fine. Jeez, no? You're awake. Ugh. How long was I out? Not too long. I'm sorry. Hey, don't say that. It was all in a day's work for a squire. Besides, I wouldn't be alive if it weren't for you. Thanks. Let's go back. To be sure. Yes, please. I'd like that. Okay, I do not remember that scene. That was different. Feeling better? Or just brand new. Yeah, I guess I owe you one now. It's nothing. Giselle? Great out there. If you ever decide to volunteer for the war, I think you'd make a great field medic. You think so? Of course! Thanks. You know, this isn't my first time getting bit by a snake. Back home, I got bit by one of those snakes that glow in the dark. I forgot what they'd call them. Bright scales. Yeah, those! How'd you know? I saw one too. They were pretty. Okay, now that I know they're from the same place, well, I love these little sprinkles throughout the story. This little hints that they're from the same place. I thought so too. I, I'm sorry. Hey, it's okay. These things happen. Squire. Yeah? You're home. What about it? Bandits. You're home. The doctor told me. So she told you, huh? Yes, I... I'm sorry. Hey, don't worry too much about that. A lot of people kind of know about it anyway. Is... Is this why you want to be a knight? Yeah. After seeing that... mess with the bandits, I wanted to do something. I had to. I... I understand. You're not alone. Coming from someone like you, it's pretty reassuring. Thanks, Giselle. Anyway, thanks again for saving my life. I'll see you around. All right. Another 400. Okay. G greetings. Okay, we're giving her the tarot cards. We need to buy a grimoire. No And now we need to talk to her about something, anything. After we check that, we cannot check that once we've talked Good. to her. I forgot. Greetings. Let's talk about witchcraft. Giselle, what about this witchcraft and thing skip. you've been doing? We've already heard her say all these before, anyway. So you can just go back, watch the videos that were on my uh, on the Twitch channel, on the YouTube EAS channel. My goodness, I'll figure out how to speak English at some point. What would you like to buy today? By all. Okay, and you know what I really should do is I should hop around, <clears throat> pick up some extra things to sell to fund the things I've got to buy. Which means now I go up to the castle. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. We're making excellent progress. Moldy cheese. Ugh. Hello, doggo. We can pet the doggo! Aw, oh, nothing today? It's okay. You'll get something next time. Okay, now we go home, go bed. We are laser focused on Giselle now. There is nothing else for us to do except work on her story <clears throat> this game is so good <sighs> okay now the question is can I trigger anything with Giselle today or do I need to fast forward on the calendar well 
Let me fast forward throughout the day first just to see. got to do now the thing is like I'm questioning if this is what we're supposed to do just because I know that we've already interacted with Giselle on this day on the calendar but the reason I'm curious is because we also interacted with her yesterday on the calendar but it still triggered that cutscene anyway and I'm not exactly sure why <clears throat> okay I think if something were to happen now it would have triggered so I'm Going to go talk with her, <clears throat> gift her the grimoire. Oh, hello. Talk about something. Got any hobbies, Giselle? At. I really should have gifted the grimoire to her instead of talking. Oh, well. Okay, we could go home. I'm going to fast forward to a day that she is not on the calendar. Yeah, because, see, she was on this day. Let me go ahead and check yesterday, though. Like, You can get twice in the same day. That's interesting. I guess I'll fast forward to the 9th. Oh, that's just tomorrow anyway. Perfect. See if we can trigger yeah. something. I'm going to do this for like two or three more days, and if none of this works, then I will go ahead and fast forward to the absolute final thing on the um, <clears throat> on the calendar for her and start going for the days after that. I think that'll force... I think that'll force it to work the way I want. Oh, never mind. Perfect. This should, this should do it. Oh, I want that toad. Frog, whatever. Huh? Is that Giselle? What the hell is she doing? Bone of Al. Oil of Lavender. Shard of Bloodstone. What's she doing waving that wooden stick around? Darkness. Darkness from the lake. Whoa, she's really into it. Hmm. What would make a good entrance? Okay, well, I don't know why that goes off. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, let me go ahead and make sure that this doesn't affect it, and I'm almost positive it doesn't. It does not. I have been summoned! <laughs> 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 it is I, Vaglatoris, the great demon, lord of pits and assichin. Good god, man. Great one, grant me strength. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> she actually believed it for a second, too. You. <laughs> Look on your face. Are you seriously gonna ask help from a shit demon? <laughs> I don't think she needs that, but that's just my opinion. So, what kind of spell are you casting anyway? A spell for strength. Strength? Do what? Important things. Would kick my ass, probably. Important things? Like, like a quest? Quest? Yeah, like a quest to resurrect a loved one, or, or, or a quest to forge a magic shield that can reverse time. Stuff like that! Maybe. I need herbs. For research. Alright! That means it's my squirely duty to help you. You would? Of course. Anything for a fair witch maiden like you. Thanks.
All right. Well, that was something. Oh, she's still here. Good, we can gift her the grimoire. Thanks. You're the best. I am, aren't I? Okay, I need to buy the tarot cards. And talk to her about something, anything. Oh, hi. Hmm. So, what do you think about... Okay. Now we go home, go bed. Wait, she's still here? Well, nothing else I could do, unfortunately. Okay, we go home, go to bed, fast forward to whatever the next day is that she isn't on the calendar, and I'm almost positive it's tomorrow anyway, so I'll just rest for now. Okay, it's really, really nice to know that a new game plus, if you focus specifically on one girl and have no distractions, that it could be really fast. Yeah, she's not on the calendar at all for the entire rest of this month, so we should be set, I think. If she's not on the map, first thing I'm going to do is go and buy more tarot cards. She is on the map, okay. Uh, I have enough time to go and buy the tarot cards on my way there, so I'm going to do that. <clears throat> Hello. Please waste your gold here. Sell some of this stuff. Bye. Tarot cards. Thank you. Okay. And now moving on to Giselle. There we go. That is what you call mapping. Also, I need to check this just in case. Yeah, well, worth it. Hey, Giselle! I need help. Help? For what? Quest. Sweet! What are we questing for today? Rare herbs. All right, then. Professional squire, at your service. Good. Oh. Um, Giselle? You said rare herbs. Is this the one that I, I think it is? Like Underwater plants. Oh, no, this is different. Have I seen this before? I don't think I've seen this before. Whoa, really? Yes. Hard to get. Native to Cerulea. What's it called? Seaweed. <laughs> About that. You're shitting me. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> uh, she doesn't get around. Whoa! Something's moving underwater. Those look familiar. Giselle? I think this part of the lake has thrasher fish in it. Amy and I used to run into these things whenever we went fishing. Sharp teeth, a pat temper, not a good combination. Don't worry, I have a plan. What is it? Close your eyes. Whoa, Giselle, why are you taking your clothes off? I said close your eyes. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> what is she doing? I'm going in. What about the thrasher fish? Those things will eat you alive! Don't worry. I have a distraction. You. Wait, what? No! Ah! <laughs> okay. That'll work. Oh! What's this? Looks like I get to catch a glimpse of heaven. At least. Not a bad sight. Screw the thrasher fish. This is totally worth it. Uh-oh. Now they're coming my way! This isn't good! I gotta think of a plan! Okay, I'm pretty sure that my choice here does not affect the ending. Almost positive, because this is the first time I've seen this cutscene, so... Yeah, no, I could I could distract a fish, or... Giselle! We're in this together! So, we're doing this together! I pull her deeper into the lake. Ah, you! Don't worry. Now that there's two of us, we can split them up. Here they come. We better start talking. Yeah, you'll pay. Oh yeah, Squire Skull is going to die. Hi, Alumno. Woo! <laughs> Got a few about some places I'd rather not talk about. But aside from that, I'm fine. You. Oh, cool. Yeah, everyone's doing. Everyone's fine. I'm happy. I'm doing good. 
She holds up something blue and sticky. That must be the seaweed. Oh, sweet! You got it! You... you pulled me in! Yeah. Hey, <laughs> you pushed me in first. I was just returning the favor. Fair point. <laughs> Good to see you again. But my revenge will come. Soon. Well, I hope you're doing good too, Alumno. You thought I'd ready finish the game. Well, I got a good ending. I am. Oh, I, I got four good endings out of five. Giselle here is the only one I got a bad ending for, so I have to get a good ending for her. So yeah, I'm going for a good en ending for her. And then depending on how I feel, I might go for the 100% ending, which I think should only take me two or three extra streams. So yeah. <laughs> have I mentioned how much I love this game? Quest accomplished. Let's go. <clears throat> okay, that was fun. Go away, Hugh. I don't care about you. Did I just give her the... Oh, I didn't give her anything, actually. So, do I currently have the tarot cards? Four out of five innings is already a lot. Yeah. A squire like you should buy from a shopkeeper like me. Well, it's even better. It's more like uh, a squire like you should buy from a. I actually did like get the me. Giselle ending already, but it was the bad ending, so I'm redoing it because four out of five good endings on the first try is is cl it's so good, but I really it it would feel like a disservice to not. Oh, hello. To not give Giselle the ending she deserves. Is there a plot map to track progress? Eh, kind of. Okay, let me go ahead and talk to her about something, anything. Hey, Giselle. Skip, because I've already shown all these off in previous videos. Um, now we go back to the square and buy the grimoire for tomorrow. Everyone deserves a happy ending. Hello. Please waste your gold here. Good night, everybody. Bye, all. Okay. Uh, I really should spend some more time hopping around from place to place trying to get more stuff to sell tomorrow. Moldy cheese, which means the dog doesn't have anything, I think. <gasps> yep, nothing today. Okay. Wait. We got another Giselle event? What? Two in the same day? Isn't that Giselle? What's she doing here? This is the sketchy side of town. Hello. Hello? Been a while, been a while. Oh, I have seen this cutscene, though. P please take this cure. It might help. Hey, hey, hey! I ain't letting you give me any of your damn cures! You know what I want! You need help. Please, let me... I'm fine! I'm perfectly fine, Giselle! Please stop fussing! But... Dad's just a bit cross with me right now, but... But I got an idea! How about you fix me up with some gold? Pay you back, I promise! No, I can't. What? We're friends, right? You and I? I don't even know who you are. Please, don't do this. Oh, I get it. You're just like my bloody dad! You think you're better than me, huh? I see it! I see it in the way you look at me! <gasps> don't do this, Giselle, please! Don't be like the others! I'm, I'm so tired. I just want... Give me a bit of loose change, that's all! This isn't good. I have to help her. Hey! You there! Huh? Squire! Let her go! Ah, you bloody bastard! Wow. How dare you? We've only just met. Get away from her! Get, get off! Ah! Ah, you scratched me! Stop! Giselle, stay back! This girl! Stop! Stay away! Why? She was bothering you! She's not okay! Look! 
lights too bright. Just just be a good dear now. Tell Dad that I'm sleeping in tonight, won't ya? What's wrong with her? Trouser. I I see. <laughs> I, I, I need to get out of here. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's not exactly fight everyone mode. It's more of a tweaker mode. You'll pay me back for the eggs, won't you, Giselle? For now, I'll just... I'll see you later. No, wait. Giselle, it's too dangerous to go after her. Maybe we could call the guards or something. Please don't. They'll arrest her. But isn't that for the best? I mean, people in this part of town, they can get kind of shady. She looked dangerous and creepy, too. She even knew your name. How'd you ever get tangled up with that sort of crowd? Butcher's daughter. What? The butcher's daughter. Her. No way! I, I thought she was mugging you. No. We used to buy food from her. Yeah. Giselle's story is so sad. Like, and, and when you learn more about her actual backstory, you know, she feels responsible for it because she, like, this is a spoiler alert, but I've already finished her ending, so whatever. She actually was the one who invented Drowser in the first place. So everyone who is affected by it, she feels like she's personally responsible, which just makes it even more tragic. She was normal, training to be like her father. Then... Drowser. Yes. Just last month. So Giselle's story is probably the most tragic of all. I put it even above Vel, who literally had her entire her entire city destroyed and she was like the sole survivor. Like I put Giselle's story even more tragic than that. And uh that's part of the reason why I'm so razor focused on giving her the good ending, because has she not suffered enough? What? But she looked really bad. Fast acting. Highly addictive. The perfect drug. Her father. He's worried. I... I had no idea it got that bad. It's kind of scary when you think about it. This could happen to anyone. Yes. Anyone. I'm sorry about your friend. That's your cure, huh? Yes. How's your research going? <clears throat> I'll show you. Come. So I, I think this is going to be the last thing Over I do today. Over here. Whoa, what's all this? My equipment. All this stuff? I've never seen that many smart people things in one place. <laughs> he, he and I speak the same language. Yes, I saved up for it. Giselle, the cure. Do you really think you can do it? The cure. It's still incomplete. Chance of success, low. But I have to. It's my quest. If you could pull that off, you'll be huge. You'll be the nurse who discovered a cure for Drowser. The crown will host a feast in your honor. No, not for honor. There are more important things. Uh, oh, of course. Excuse me, I need to get to work. Yeah, sure thing. It's a sad, tragic story, but... That's why we're playing this, is to give her a good ending. And I think... Oh, let me actually go back in there and check the stuff. Nothing there, which means I've got something there. Oh, no, guess not. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to go home, go bed, and that'll bring this stream to a close. So we got the good ending for Kamala today. The final girl that we were missing, and now we're just working on getting the good ending for Giselle. The final good ending we've been missing. We are doing really good, actually. And I think... Once we're done with Giselle... Yeah. We'll only have to redo Beatrice and Amy, giving them the Ocarina with their good endings, and we'll get the Harem 100% ending, which is perfect. So yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be doing this next Sunday because next Sunday I am going to be traveling. But, um, but yeah, 
In the meantime, I'll be back on Tuesday and Thursday this week to play other things. Uh, I really don't know how the rest of this month is going to look. Like, whenever NASA is going to try and launch their new Mega Moon rocket again, I'm going to go down there to see it. Um, and, uh, which means that my schedule is very up in the air. But I'm going to be here playing as much as I can whenever I can. So all the more reason for you guys to stick around. Uh, huge thanks to Illumino for popping in. Shout out to all the lurkers. I love this game. It is available to buy physically on Nintendo Switch right now through PlayAsia.com. Yep, see it live. I, I have been invited by NASA to uh, get front row seats to the rocket launch, which I'm not missing that. So yeah, um, it does mean I'll be traveling uh, kind of unexpectedly. So that's just how it goes. Anyway, um, that'll bring this stream to an end. Thank you, Lumno. Uh, until Tuesday, this this upcoming Tuesday, two days from now, I'll be back. Until then, on behalf of East Asia Soft, I have been Skull. Have yourselves a great day and a great week, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.